Uh, we've all been a little bit stressed out lately, or maybe stressed out a real lot. And the fact is life in general is really complicated and it's always very challenging. And so I wanted to share something with you that has helped me ever since I was actually about nine or 10 years old myself, which is uh, learning how to meditate, which is really just learning how to calm yourself a little bit, how to reboot, how to refocus, how to approach things in a better way. It doesn't solve all the problems and it's not magic. It's not like you're going to sit for two minutes and woo, it's all solved. It really doesn't work like that. What it really is about is taking a moment and giving yourself some space just to breathe, just to think about how you might be able to react better. And maybe you don't even need to react at all. Maybe there's a difficult situation that you're always finding yourself getting involved in. Maybe you don't need to. Meditation really gives you that space and it can be done as long as you want or as quickly as you want. It can be complicated, it can be simple. I'm gonna share with you some things that are really pretty simple but are very effective and only really take a couple minutes. People think that meditation is just sitting on the cushion for an hour uh, and that's great too. Uh, I have a cushion at home and to be honest, about half an hour is about as effective as it is for me after that, it's really just sort of pain. Um, and discomfort. But some people can sit much longer, some sit shorter. Uh, this is a meditation that's really just gonna be sitting on a chair, uh, very simple, uh, very e easy breathing. Uh, people think that there's a very special way that you have to breathe, and there are some different techniques that are a little more advanced that I can share later. But you've been breathing all day and you've been doing a great job. Uh, none of you have gone You know, now what do I do? It's, it's natural. Meditation is really about paying attention to your breathing. So uh, we're going to do um, some techniques that you can do in two minutes. And I really strongly suggest that you use a timer. You can just use the, uh, the timer on your phone. Um, by the way, this is, my, uh, this is my screensaver because he just tries so hard it never works and he just keeps going anyway. So it's a, uh, it's a good reminder for me. Though, do not try to blow up the universe. No one likes that. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, that's Marvin the Martian. So if you're too young to know who that is, um, look up Marvin the Martian. Um, so anyway, so back to where I was. As you can tell, I'm a little easily distracted and meditation only helps with that somewhat, but it, it, does in, uh, it does in fact help. So I really strongly suggest using a timer. You can use it on your phone. Uh, you can use a kitchen timer. I know how much time I've been spending in the kitchen for these uh, last several months. Uh, it's important to use a timer because time really is hard to gauge when you meditate. You might sit for a minute and it feels like hours and you might sit for 20 minutes and it feels like well, I can't snap, but it feels much faster. And um, that'll then switch. Uh, there is no winning at meditation. There's not necessarily even getting better at it. It's what is your experience right now? How is it helping you? What are you learning? So in terms of meditation though, what I would strongly suggest is that if you're sitting, try to sit forward a little bit so you're not compressing your belly. Try to have your feet flat on the floor because that'll take a lot of the tension and the pressure. Uh, off your body. Uh, when I sit, I try to make sure my hands are relaxed, my shoulders are relaxed, my neck. Just think about any tension. I hold my hands, I tend to be like this, my left hand over my right, but you can put them gently on your lap also. What you don't want is this because this is just a lot of strain and a lot of tension. And the chances are pretty good when you're thinking some difficult thoughts, your shoulders are starting to go like this more and more. And just be aware of that and they'll kind of relax themselves. Uh, you don't have to close your eyes. Uh, you can. Um, it's completely whatever is, uh, is comfortable for you. And you just want to be aware of your breath. So I'm going to be talking about three different techniques. One is just sort of being aware of your breathing. And then you just sort of want to breathe in gently through your nose and out through your mouth. Uh, long breaths are not better than short ones. You don't want to be going... Why aren't I more, why aren't I more relaxed? Um, just pay attention to it. Your breath will actually start uh, elongating on its own. It'll start getting more comfortable for you on, on your own. Uh, ideally, it would be in through the nose and out through your mouth, but if you can't do that, any kind of way uh, that you can breathe is the, uh, the right way to breathe. And just sort of notice the, the thoughts. Uh, you can't turn your thoughts off. 
You can't clear your mind. Your mind is always going. This is really just about becoming friends with your thoughts. So if a thought comes in, just notice it and say, thought or sensation if you're feeling something in your body and just sort of notice that and just giving yourself a couple moments your mind is going to wander it's what your mind does your mind makes thoughts because your mind is a thought factory and that's what it is doing all the time this is just sort of about noticing it and just sort of creating the space and maybe even become friends with your thoughts. I really think that our minds are trying to teach us things. And if we pay attention, we can get some insights, even if with, there are some things that are, are difficult. But so the, you can just try this and do it for several weeks, several months. You can actually your entire life. There are meditators who all they focus on is their breath. Uh, I would suggest counting your breaths if you're just going to focus on your breath, like breathing in is one, breathing out is two. Um, some people go up to 10. Uh, I actually, because I have trouble concentrating sometimes, I just restart again at four. And if your mind is wandering, just start again. And uh, so I, I tend to count to four. That's a, that's a good one for me. Uh, but if you want to go farther, uh, 10 is good. Um, but really, it's uh, counting the breaths is a good way of, uh, of staying focused on these things. Uh, the second one is having a, a word in mind that's peaceful. And this one is actually very relaxing, and it's based on the word shalom. Uh, all om words are actually very relaxing, like shalom, marom, makom, or om. Because it sets up some really nice vibrations sort of in the, uh, the back of your skull, and it just kind of relaxes where your brain and spinal cord meet. And it's really, it's just a, a nice sound, and it's, um, it's very calming. So I thought the word shalom would be perfect. I breathe in on sha and out on loam. Sha loam. And just do that for a couple minutes. And you can do it longer, obviously, if you want. But that's a nice way of resetting things. And in on sha, out on loam. And you can reverse it too, just to see how that feels uh, as well. You kind of want to think about bringing the breath into your belly more than in your chest. Uh, but just, you know, very simple, uh, simple breaths and your breathing will uh, take care of itself. And the, uh, the third technique, which I find very effective, it, it's uh, using slogans. And one of my favorite is from Sylvia Borstein. And she says, may I meet this moment fully? May I meet it as a friend? May I meet this moment fully? May I meet it as a friend. Uh, these last six months have not felt like our moments have been friends to us. And this is about trying to just give yourself a little space, a little bit of self-compassion, realizing that we are not perfect and our friends love us anyway. We're not going to get it all right. I know parents and children and friends and everyone, everyone's having a hard time right now. It might even just be you at home. You're having a hard time just being with yourself. This is a phrase that's really about just connecting with your inner goodness and realizing that other people have that inner goodness as well, even when it's not always coming out the way that you would like it to. So again, you're just sort of breathing in gently. May I meet this moment fully and breathing out. May I meet it as a friend. And this will actually create some longer breaths. Uh, make it a little more uh, relaxing. But I just want to make sure that it's so important to know that meditation can be done in really just a couple minutes a day. And it's really just a reset. And it can make such a difference in your approach. If you've had enough Zoom, if you've had enough frustration about Zoom, if there's anything going on in your life that's irritating, anything that's irritating, Meditation isn't going to make the irritation go away. It's going to help you deal with it in a better way. It's going to be less of the pit in your stomach and more a feeling of, I can do this. Again, it's not fixing everything. It's not solving. But you'll also find if you're a little calmer, 
everyone else around you is going to be a little calmer too. And that kind of radiates outward and can be super helpful. So uh, I hope you find these techniques uh, useful. And, uh, and if you do, I will uh, make more videos about some uh, more advanced techniques as well. But more complicated isn't better. Sometimes simple is the best thing. I, I wish everyone uh, health and peace, a shana tova mituka, a very sweet and happy year.